In feedlot school, my topic was both feed additives and implants. Implant strategy is what I covered first. We talked about the different types, um, the different modes of action, and how they actually work, and how to create your greatest profitability in the feedlot or backgrounding scenario. And then we also went into the feed additives, both commercial ones such as ionophores, antibiotics, and also got into the more the newer products such as the beta antagonists, the Zilmax and Optiflex, and then also touching the natural products. While natural seems to be kind of a niche that's growing, most of the industry tends to use uh, antibiotics and implants. Correct. Um, how much of an improvement is there in our feed production by using those particular compounds? Well, you're seeing typically with an implant something around a three, two to three percent increase in feed efficiency and a three to five percent average daily gain. Also seeing somewhere between uh, five to ten dollar return per dollar spent on a product like that. Um, sometimes with the implants though you can see a reduced in quality grade and marbling score and it's there for your dollar. With the natural, um, there are some feed products that are coming out that are helping with those feed efficiency issues um, and so those products can also be very effective for a management niche market like that.